Welcome to Jay's Gamepad everybody and all my fellow G's and gamers out there, Wagwan. First and foremost, I'd like to ask if you could please like, subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like man's content or any of my content because right now I am on 333 subs and I'm striving and trying to get to 500 by the end of this month. So with your help, hopefully I will be able to do that. So again, please sub much appreciate you anyway so playstation has just dropped the playstation vr2 and they have also dropped a very interesting video in regard to the headset a headset teardown video first look with the engineers behind the next gen hardware and we have another one in regards to the dual sense controller teardown as well which is interesting because you might not be aware of this, but when the PlayStation 5 came out, they had a teardown for the PlayStation 5. And I feel it was a bit weird that the fact that they didn't show us a teardown of the controller at the same time. And now they're doing the controller now. It's weird, I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, I'd rather have it than not have it. So we've got the teardown. And basically, I, I remember I wanted to do a video back then as well because I thought it was quite interesting, but I didn't. And to be honest with you, like, I think it'd be interesting because when you see teardown videos like this that are Sony are actually doing, which is, was it? I think it's quite new. Like, please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if they've done it with the PS4 or anything like that, or even with the first generation of the VR headset. But when they do teardowns like this, I like it because I, because I, I would assume or I would think that it would help, you know, uh, third party engineer third party engineers in regards to fixing your hardware and stuff like that and not always sending it back to Sony that's going to charge you an arm and leg to do something when you know where it becomes accessible and easy to actually like fix because they're doing breakdown or tear down videos like this so I think it's quite good I think it's quite interesting I always find stuff like this interesting I I grew up you know um like breaking down things you know like TVs and and you know I mean, and like cassette players and stuff, and all. And I mean, also fixing things as well. I have to play Lego and stuff. Always like building things and destroying things and rebuilding things up. It's just a thing that I just like really resonate with, being that I grew up doing them type of things. So when I see videos like this, in a weird way, I don't know if you can sympathise with me, but I kind of see these. I find these kind of videos kind of very. Was it therapeutic? Shall I say therapeutic? So yeah um anyway so let's so like let's watch this tear down um video of the headset first then we will go back to back and we watch the dual sense controller because i do know that when i go online to look about like how to fix dual sense controllers it seems to be very um i don't know very hard and complicated like you know you get a lot of warnings saying like if you're going to do it then it's you know down to your own discretion and stuff because i remember um was it i do remember that a lot of people had the issue with the controller like drift like drifting with the analog controller and stuff so anyway let's watch this and see what i want i think this one's about 10 minutes and the other one's about five minutes so this would be about a 20 minute video all together so let's get into this okay <clears throat> プレイステーションVRの製品セットのセットを担当してきましたのでPSVR2では まずはライトシールドを外していきたいと思います。ライトシールドは爪で引っかかって止まっているだけですので、ユーザーの皆さんが簡単に外すことができます。Yeah, you can see that when they like designed it, they put it together, they made it really easy to actually like. Yeah,
でライトシールドは鼻の部分を見損にすることによって鼻の高い人でも低い人でも外から入らない部分を見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にすることによってライトシールドボルダーを見損にそしたらですね、えー、とこの黒い部品は、えー、と爪で看護されてますんでその爪を外していきます。Uh, you know はい、次はカバーフロントの部品を外します。So well、that... 上がネジ4点を外します。Like、外してこちらもネジ4点です。Like, like, are they in danger of showing us how it really like, works and the mechanics and stuff and the components? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 2本を外しますフレキケーブルを外していきます。Yeah, look all the ribbons. You can see mad technology. Mad technology. こちらが下側の2つのカメラユニットになります。Okay, say, that's the このユニットは精度が特に重要な部品になっていまして、信頼性にこだわって設計をしています。周りの衝撃から逃げるように、あえてしっかりと固定せずに、このラバー部品を介して固定されています。次に上側のカメラを外していきたいと思います。まず筆記を外します。ネジを2点外していきます。続けて左のカメラも外していきます。続けてボタンユニットも外していきたいと思います。まず筆記を外します。この部品自体は爪で看護しているだけなので。Wow, man. Yeah, you can see there's mad technology in this mad technology. Button, no, button unit. Kiban to mic ga tsitimas. Kono mic wa naibu no. Yeah, they went in. They went in. With technology. Microphone. Yeah, so the microphone is actually in the headset, which is、um, different. In the first PlayStation VR headset, there was no microphone built into the headset. Yeah, so they put mad technology, mad technology into the headset, which is good. 簡単にダクトを外すことができます。PSVR2 の冷却室は新たに搭載したこのファンによって、まずはライトシールドと顔の隙間からレシャーを含めるとにメイン基板にある IC チップを冷やすというような構成になっています。この空気の流れは IC チップの冷却とともにヘッドセットを無理にくくするという効果もありまして、ユーザーの皆さんに快適にプレイしていただくということを目指しています。次はヒートシンクを外しますでヒートシンクとここの IC チップは、TIM、oh, wow. という熱伝導率の良い材料で接続されています。では次はフレーキを外していきます。次にスライダーベースを外します。次にレバー系の部品を外していきます。うん、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、マッドリップン、But I guess the more you do it, the more you get used to it, the more you mem- I can't remember how to do it. You memorize it. Okay, so I can't expect it to, to be like more components or mother boards underneath it and stuff, but maybe there is. It looks like there's another case in. So, what's inside of that? オーディオジャックのコネクターはこのまま取ることができます。Yeah. ここのレンズ調整ダイヤルを回すとシャフトと内部のギアを介して光学ユニットが左右に動くようになっています。Oh, yeah, um... PSVR2 では、yeah, so、ユーザーの目の感覚に合わせて、like... レンズ間の距離を調整することが可能です。Yeah, so、この調整によりクリアな映像をお楽しみいただけます。続いては光学ユニットの分解をしていきます。Okay. 
。まずはじめに、このバネを取っていきます。続いて調整ダイヤルの部分を分解をしていきます調整ダイヤルを取りますシャフト先端についてるギアを外しますでこのままシャフトを外しておきますそうすると,レン,ととレンズユニットが外れます,外れますレンズユニットを外していきますそうすると、レンズユニットが外れますそうすると、レンズユニットが外れますそうすると、レンズ次にこの両サイドにあるギアを外していきます yeah, so, way, it、um, 続いて装着センサーを外していきます。Uh, no, like、ネジの箇所を外します。ここについている装着センサーが赤外線を照射して反射してくる光の強度で顔との距離を見ています。Okay. ユーザーが PSVR2 をかぶっているかいないかを検知しています。このレンズ周囲に赤外線で発光する IRLED とそれを撮影する IR カメラがここに落とされていますでこれらを使いユーザーの目の動きを捉えて視線トラッキングを実現しています続いて IR カメラを外していきますこの IR カメラの部分にはゴミが入らないように密閉しています。ガスケットと呼ばれている柔らかいガム状の部品を使ってその密閉を実現しています。IR カメラ。That looks like you shouldn't have pulled it out, you know. I swear something else came out with it, like some gooey material. レンズユニットにもゴミが入らないよう IR カメラと同じように柔らかいガム状の部品を使って密閉しています。Okay, so that's the, um, so that's the glue to keep it there. So、what about when you 面面にはプレネルレンズがついていますこのレンズはミクロ単位での仕込みを入れていましてゴーストと言われる症状はかなり強いです、yeah, so、the... これで軌道も自然にせずに綺麗な映像を実現できています続いてヘッドバンドを分解していきますはじめにフロントヘッドバンドを外しますこれはヘッドバンドですこれはヘッドバンドのですこれはヘッドバンドのですこれはヘ今まではスポンジが入っているクッションを使っていましたが、今回はそれをやめまして、yeah, えー、シリコンラバーで、ちょうどいいグリップ感を持たせながらも、えー、粘りつかないというのが、like, それではヘッドバンドの中央を持ちます。PSVR と大きく違うと思います。PSVR のヘッドバンドは締め付けていくと頭の側面が痛くなってしまうという声をいただいたことがありましたので、今回は側面側の負荷を低減できるような工夫をしています。前側は柔らかく、後ろ側は硬くというアプローチによって、側面の締め付けを低減させています。では、リアヘッドパッドを外していきます。次にヘッドバンドのこの内側の部品を外していきます。この内側の部品を外しますと、ここに水分が入っています。で、このケーブルはバンドの伸縮に合わせて、キャタピラ状に動きますこの太いケーブルがメインケーブルです、okay. でこの細いケーブルがオーディオのケーブルになっています、oh, I see, I see. では続けてこのリンクギアを外していきたいと思いますまず白いカバーを取ります、yeah. so was, so like like、ミジュールドコンパクトとこの白いカバーを取りますミジュールドコンパクトとこの白いカバーを取りますミジュールドコンパクトとこの白いカ続いてこのボタンを外します。このダイヤルも取ります。Like, my man, come on, man, it's like, do you, this is crazy, like, do you really think that、like, it's important for us to see how that like, works? まま、like, compared to the actual, I mean, the actual head unit. でこれでリンクギアがついたゼンマイバレンとか外れます。Yeah. 続けてリアバンドのフレームを取りま,すま,すまずはケーブル類を外します。Like、system, like、この状態で、stuff. フレームを見つけます。Uh, yeah, では次にヘッドバンドの前側を分解していきたいと思います。この前側の
ヘッドバンド分厚いですけども部品が分割されてますんでとても柔らかい作りになっています。Yeah, okay. I knew では、yeah, so、made the purpose super flexible. まず側面の部品とエジを外します。Yeah. ここに。ここに振動モーターを内蔵していましてゲーム内の表現に合わせて振動することでより臨場感あふれる体験が可能となっています。こちらがプレイステーション VR2 ヘッドセットの全部です。Yeah, he broke it. 今回はとことん機能と強度をたまたままいかにコンパクトにやるかというところでこだわって作っています今まで以上の VR 体験をお楽しみいただけると思いますぜひ体験してみてください Very impressive PlayStation VR2 headset teardown Very very impressive Very very impressive You know what? Before we go into the next video, yeah, I just want to like say, yeah, that like I actually generally enjoy these t y p e of videos because, like I said, you know,、um, I find them quite relaxing and I find it interesting to see how they break down, like, you know,、um, a lot of the technology and how, they, and how they build them as well. Like, you know, the really, the really clever ways that they manage to build these like headsets or these technologies or these units. Like, I find it super, super interesting. And If they haven't done already, which I don't think they have, but please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, it would be very interesting to see a teardown of the PlayStation VR headset, the first one. It'd be very interesting to see what similar technologies that they've built upon, or, or, like just in way, like, or just in terms of the way that they actually built the whole headset itself, like the things that they actually kept, like, other than the, the, the things you can visually see that they kept. It'd be interesting to see, like, you know,、um, Like what technology mechanisms and certain things that they, you know,、um, kept and how they built that as well. Because when that came out, like I said, even though that was a cheaper version of what was on the VR market in general, it was by far, you know,、um, the most comfortable and it had like、um, probably the most full games and experiences, shall I say, you know. So, yeah, man, it was definitely, definitely interesting to see this. And、um, yeah, like, let me know what you think about this. Breakdown, like this teardown of the first PlayStation VR2 headset. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, are you interested in the tree like myself? Does this make you want to even go and buy it or pre order? Well, you can't pre order because it's out, you know, but like, does, but does it make you want to go and get it? Now you've seen the teardown, you see the technology. Maybe you're on this digital foundry thing, you know what I'm saying? You're more technical and stuff. And you know what I mean? Like, I know some people were kind of thinking, well, it says that it's got this and that technology, but what components are they using? Are they using cheap materials? Like, Some, some people look at these things and think to themselves, it's not worth me spending 500 plus on it more than what the PlayStation 5 is actually like, you know, worth. It's crazy, you know what I mean? So, anyway, let's get into the PlayStation VR 2 Sense controller teardown.、Um, I might be wrong because I assume that this was just a controller, the normal controller, like this one. But I'm starting to think. In, I'm starting to think that is the VR controllers. But anyway, because I haven't watched this video, so anyway, let's check it out.、Uh, for information only, do not try this at home. Risk of exposure of electric shock. Other injuries. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, so it is the、um, VR controllers. Okay, VR sense, wireless controller. Yeah, he suits the background. He's the same background, but he's wearing a suit. PSVR2 sense controller. Okay, okay, okay. 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 分解を始めていきたいと思いますまずはストラップを外します、okay. 矢印の反対側に回すと取り外すことができます、mm. PSVR2 センスコントローラーは球体からくり抜かれたようなオーブ型の形状にしました
これは後ほど説明するコントローラーの向きや位置のトラッキングに利用する赤外線を発光する IRLED を理想的な位置に配置するためにこの形状を採用しています動作中または充電中はグリップエンドのステータスランプが白く光ります外装のカバーを外していきます Can you imagine if they were doing a teardown and, and like,、um, they ended up breaking or snapping something? That'd be so funny. But I guess they were going to show us. This cover is a very good thing. 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 Yeah, I can't imagine that the.、Um... 取り外したリングには14個の IRLED を搭載しています。この LED はそれ以外の場所にも3つ搭載しています。これらの赤外線の光を VR ヘッドセットに搭載されているトラッキングカメラで捉えることでコントローラーの位置や向きを検知します。コントローラーがどんな向きであっても正確に検知ができるように LED の配置を最適化しています。さらにグリップを分解していきます。ザルセンスワイヤレスコントローラーと同様によく見るとグリップカバーに小さい三角、丸、バツ、四角が刻印されています。うん、では次にトリガーボタンを外していきます。トリガーボタンには指検知センサーを搭載しています。指検知センサーは静電容量式でトリガーボタン以外に中指で押し込むグリップボタン、親指で操作するアクションボタン、スティックにも搭載しています。このように片側のコントローラー5箇所に指検知センサーを搭載することでボタンを押さなくても触れるだけで指を検知できるようになっています。これによりゲームプレイ中に自然なジェスチャーによる操作が可能です。グリップ内部です。グリップボタンが見えてきました。その下にバッテリーがあります。グリップ内部を分解していきます。まずはハプティックフィードバックユニットを外します。このユニットの中のアクチュエーターが動作することでさまざまな触覚を手に伝えていきますこのユニットはデュアルセンスワイヤレスコントローラーに組み込まれているものより小さく PSVR2 センスコントローラー専用に設計したものです次にスティックのついた基板を外していきますアダプティブトリガーを外していきますこれがメインの基板が乗っているフレームになります。続いて、アダプティブトリガーをさらに分解していきます。カバーを外すと、モーターとギアが見えてきます。このモーターによって、白いギアから黒いレバーを動かして、トリガーに反発力を与えていきます。指の動きに合わせてこの反発力を調整することでいろいろな感触を表現しています。この仕組みはデュアルセンスワイヤレスコントローラーも同様ですが PSVR2 センスコントローラーのグリップに収まるように形状を調整しました。こちらがプレイステーション VR2 センスコントローラーの全部で,すで PSVR2 センスコントローラーは没入感を高める機能を搭載しつつ持ち心地を損なわずに重心バランスの調整と軽量化にこだわって設計しました。皆さんぜひこのコントローラーをお使いいただいて今までにない VR 体験をお楽しみいただければと思います。PlayStation VR2 Sense Controller Teardown. Love to see it. We love to see it. Yes, so that was the teardown of the PlayStation VR2 headset and controllers. And like I said, I find it super interesting, find it very, very relaxing. And like I said at the top of this video, you know, for、um, engineers or, or people that fix technology, 
you know what I mean it's it, like it's a good way for them to get a um, picture of like how to fix things and you know like maybe replacing certain components like the battery for example in the controllers and stuff I, you know I mean like how long are they gonna last for until they need replacing Sony are probably gonna tell you yeah well you know just send it to us and we replace it and charge you X amount of money or it could be a thing about yeah we'll just replace the whole unit I mean like the whole controller how much are they gonna be super expensive or you could just take it to a third party you know that can just basically take it apart and replace it super cheap kind of like what I did personally with my um, PlayStation 4 controller my camera controller when the battery died went online you know I've got the battery what was it? I found the video on YouTube. It wasn't particularly hard to do. I just did it myself. Actually, I've got a video of that as well. So you can check that out. You know what I mean? You can check that out. So, yeah. So, yeah, I find it super interesting. So, anyway, I just thought I'd watch the video with you. You know what I mean? Like, give you my thoughts and opinions about the teardowns. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think about both of the teardown videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you like me? Do you find like stuff like this like very interesting and therapeutic? I'm like I'm a type of person that will sit there and watch people build gunpla, like build Gundams and stuff. And I just find that super relaxing. You know, what I mean, building shit, taking stuff apart, like that's just me. You know, what I mean, I, I always have an interest for the inner workings and inner mechanics of things and technologies and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. What I will say is that um, obviously I have the current, um, or should I say the old uh, PlayStation VR headset and at some point when it goes down in price and it becomes cheaper than actual than the actual PlayStation 5 console itself, I will go and get one. But right now I'm not running or in, or in any rush to go and buy one. I just think it'd be a waste of time and money, especially right now and around the world. You know what I'm saying? Like it's peak, we've got inflation, recession coming. You know what I'm saying? And even though, even though like you might be able to afford it and stuff like that, I just think there's better things to spend your money on. I don't know, if you've got the extra income, the extra resources to actually buy stuff like this at the price and stuff, then cool. But my, I mean, but morally, I just can't, I can't justify spending more money for a headset than it costs for the PlayStation 5 when you need the PlayStation 5 to play this thing. It's crazy to me. So if you're buying both of these things, Plus the games, you're easily spending over a thousand pounds. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine that they probably only mass produce a very limited amount of units in regards to selling. And I remember seeing somewhere that uh, Sony uh, was kind of expecting low. Was it low? Was it low numbers because of the situation? Which is the argument that I've made previously in multiple videos before in regards to it doesn't make sense to release it the time that they're releasing it. You know, like the market, the audience isn't there, the world climate. I, was it to me? It was it seems like Sony are um, blind, <laughs> or they're acting like they're blind to the world economics and 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 the global situation. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like man's content or any of my content. You can also hit me up on the social: Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Jay's gamepad across the board. You ain't got tap tap press anything else. But that and also, if you want to find me and hit me up on PlayStation, my gamer name is Mr. Ghost Protocol. So I guess I will speak to you and see you next time.